Hi there. Um, so I was just editing this video, and I uh, and I realized it was just a lot of like a lot of just coding, which is uh, you know just like a lot of boring um, boring text edit document. So I uh, figured figured I'd, I'd talk to you for this one. Um, <clears throat> so like basically. If you don't know what this is already, um, I'm trying to program, basically trying to fucking completely recreate uh, Clash of Clans in Java. Now I'm not trying to like steal from them or anything. I just you know like the game. Um, I was just playing the game and I realized. It like it looks 3D and it looks really good, but it's really just the illusion of 3D and it's all completely two-dimensional. Uh, sorry to break the illusion for you, but um, but yeah, I just I noticed that. I was like, well, wait, I could do that, so I decided to give it a shot. Um, I don't like intend to like sell this game or anything, obviously, because it's not. It's not mine. You know, like mine isn't really as good as as theirs anyway. It's a little bit of a little bit of notes I did there. Um, yeah. So like, but like mine um, is not like obviously since like I don't own the rights to Clash of Clans as a entity, I'm not gonna sell it or anything. But when I have this done. I do anticipate at some point my game sort of breaking off from what their game is. I don't know. Maybe I'll just like add my own mechanics and stuff to it, add my own features. At which point I might sell it, because then it won't be it won't be Clash of Clans anymore. But for now, um, it's Clash of Clans and I'm not gonna sell it. I might release it though still, like for free. Um, just because it would be a shame to like do all this work and have nobody get to play it, but yeah, so it might be free. Who knows? I don't know. Like the like the video if you want me to if you want me to make make the game free, uh, or if you want if you want to be able to to download it. Um, hit a, a few a few uh, little snags in, in uh, making this game um, there was like a, a point where the shop wouldn't open you know like I kept clicking on the button and I couldn't get it to open so I just you know sort of <laughs> um, deleted and retyped the code a million times until I figured out what was wrong um, and then there's also a point where clicking on the shop button would automatically buy barracks and then you wouldn't be able to open the shop until you were out of money for barracks so that was a pain in the ass fix that though doesn't do that anymore um yeah I, mean, I haven't been playing clash of clans now as much as i as much as i used to um I used to like play it every single day. I was like addicted to it. And now, and now like I I play it pretty um pretty consistently, but just like not nearly as often. Um, like a, a lot of YouTubers, I have heard been saying like the Clash of Clans is kind of losing it. Like it's not fun anymore. I don't I don't really know about that. It just. Uh, I just, you know, it's a, it's an iPhone game. You're, you're bound to get bored of it eventually. Um, but yeah, they keep coming out with new features, so, so, um, so that sh that should keep it around for a while. Um, uh, I um, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm like kind of out of stuff to talk about, so 
So I guess let's start reciting things that I have memorized. <clears throat> the path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyrannies of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak to the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those that attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know that my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. And I'll put in a little uh, gunshot sound effect there to just top that off. There seems to be another six minutes left in this video, so uh, more things. <clears throat> like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. You know, I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. Now I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight, I'm not worried about anything, I'm not fearing any man, cause my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Um, what else I got? Some, uh, some Romeo and Juliet. Two households both alike in dignity and fair Verona where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life whose misadventure piteous overthrows do with their death. Bury their parents' strife. And through the passage of their death mark love and the continuance of their parents' rage, but with their children's end not to remove is now the two hours traffic of our stage, to which if you with patient ears attend what here shall miss, our toil shall strive to mend. <coughs> oh, she doth teach the torches to burn bright. It seems she hangs upon the cheek of night like rich jewel in Ethiop's ear, beauty too rich for use for earth too dear. So shows the snowy dove tripping with crows as Yonder lady of her fellows shows. The measure done, I'll watch her place of stand, and touching hers, make blessed my rude hand. That's a masturbation joke, in case you didn't catch that. Have my hard love tell now forswear its sight, for ne'er I saw true beauty till this night. I think I missed a line in there. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't interject in between your uh, message yet. What else I got? Uh, Twas Brillig in the slithy toves, then Gyre and Gimble in the wave. Oh, Mimsy with the boar groves in the moment after. Okay, that's uh, I don't know, I don't know enough of that poem to, to recite it. Um, <coughs> let's try this one. Um, when in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them to another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind require that they should declare the causes which have impelled them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Ugh. That's a good one, good old boys. And good old, good old founding boys. Oh my god, there's three minutes left of this. What what am I gonna fucking talk about for three minutes? Uh game starting to starting to come together. Starting to look kind of clash of clansy. Which is exciting for me. Because this uh whole thing, this whole time lapse is uh, about about one and a half hours like uh, almost two hours so like straight like two hours straight um, 
so yeah editing this is really a pain in the ass because it's like I work for two hours and then as soon as I finish I immediately have to then watch myself do that work for the next two hours well not the next because I speed it up before I before I watch through it but um but uh yeah Yeah, so, um, two minutes left, um, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Politic Games, and at Politic Games, I think it's the same on both, um, uh, that's what I was, this is, this is the part I was talking about where there's, uh, kind of forcing you to buy barracks. Um, I need to work on like making classes and objects and all that so that you can potentially make more than one of each of each thing and also because like right now it's set up so that there is just only one gold mine only one elixir collector only one cannon only one barracks in the world um, so like if you were to go into the store and buy another one, you would just, uh, you would just like be relocating the one that you already have and I need to change it so that it's not quite that anymore. Um, if uh, anybody watching this is like a Java programmer or an artist or anything and you want to help out with this game, go for it I would love to have some help some any input would be welcome um, email me politic the game at gmail.com I think and it's over see ya